How many different ways can a person travel from A to C if these are the roadways or pathways? Well, we could imagine what some of them might look like. Maybe you would start at A and take route one, get to B and then take route four. So that's one of the options you could take. Another option is you could take route two and then route four. But how many options are there all together? But well, we could create a sample space for this to see what the options are, or a tree diagram. So in the first choice, you could have taken either road one or road two. And having taken road one, you could then either take road three, four or five. But also if you had taken road two, you could have then taken road three, four or five. And we can see when we make out a tree diagram that our options were six different choices. So you could have one and three, one and four, one and five, two and three, two and four, and two and five. There is a rule, it's called a fundamental principle of counting that we have in maths to help us with this. And the rule says when we have separate choices to make to work out the total number of options, we multiply the choices we have at each stage. So at stage one here, we have two choices. And at stage two, we have three choices. And according to the fundamental principle of counting, if we multiply these, we'd see that we have six options altogether. So that's the fundamental principle. This question is a little bit like a menu type question. From a given number of names and surnames, determine how many different surname name pairs are possible. So uh, on the given name or first name here, we have six choices. So just noting that. And in the surnames, we have five choices. So according to the fundamental principle of counting, our number of options would be six times five, which is equal to 30. So there's 30 different names you could make out of this. So you could have like Mary Mooney, Mary Byrne, Mary O'Brien, Kate McCarthy, etc. So 30 is the answer.